Hello everyone, it's me again, just wanna post this video because I've just completed work on the LEGO V2 motorcycle engine. Now this is just a model, this is not a real engine because I don't think any LEGO brick can actually handle the combustion ratio and all that. And the fire from the spark and from the fuel igniting. Let's see, just hang on a sec, I'm gonna take the cover off and you can see the piston. So um yeah. Whoop. Nearly had it there. Alright, I got the cover off. So if you look inside, there are two piston units. Now see when I crank it. Hard. So I think. Wait a second. So. Oh. This is how I do it. You see. Oh. But when I crank it, the pistons they move in a wave-like configuration. Now this is meant to be a diesel engine. I'd say it's a diesel engine. It does have quite a long combustion stroke with the pistons, but see the little pistons in there. And it cranks like it's supposed to be standing up like this and then cranking. Oops. So yeah, I am when I get my Lego motor for Christmas, I'm definitely putting that on this and then we'll see how of diesel engines, they're very loud and annoying. Well, they're powerful. God, it's hard to crank it. Alright. Yeah, it's just a little diesel. I'd say it's like a diesel I mean, it sounds, it's very loud. I'd say it's a diesel engine. No. I can just show you one more time the the combustion chamber with the cover off. Now I've not figured out a way to make valves yet, but now it's just gonna be like this. Now if you were gonna make a pneumatic engine with the piston, like the actual Lego piston parts that you get, you would need a V2 because one piston, it would be like one piston would be having, one piston would have to go down because there's pressure in the cylinder and one, had, one would have to go up because it's being sucked up again. So really that's just the nature behind a piston engine, sorry. Scratching my leg because it's itching. So yeah, one more time I'll show you. Now V2 configuration. Now they're mainly used in motorbikes. Sometimes they even have a V4 if you have a big enough motorcycle. And yeah, that's basically how I made this design. But you can... Oh, I've got more videos on this little engine, you see. Now each piston is connected to two conrods in a V configuration and then it has a little... Now, I can actually break it open. Break it open and you see, those are the two connecting rods for the two pistons. Let's put that back where it belongs, because I don't want it hanging out like that. There we go. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed the video, and bye for now.